and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how easy it is to subscribe to this channel. Now pay close attention. At the beginning of the video, you should see a little box in the top right corner. Click on this. Let's take you to this page. At this point there, you just click that. And hey Pesto, you've subscribed. As an added bonus, if I manage to reach 100 subscribers, by the start of September 2013, I'm going to send all my subscribers a very special thank you video. Don't forget, if you wish to discuss any of the matters discussed in the show, you can email me here at Daily Visual Bible by using this address. Now let's do the right thing and I'm God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 26 There was a famine in the land, besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, to give her. Yahweh appeared to him and said, Don't go down into Egypt. Live in the land I will tell you about. Live in this land and I will be with you. I will bless you. I will give to you and to your offspring all these lands, and I will establish the oath which I swore to Abraham your father. I will multiply your offspring as the stars of the sky, and will give all these lands to your offspring. In your offspring will all the nations of the earth be blessed, because Abraham obeyed my voice, and kept my requirements, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. As it lived in Gerar, the man of the place asked him about his wife. He said, She is my sister, for he was afraid to say my wife, least he thought, that a man in the place might kill me for Rebecca, because she is beautiful to look at. When he had been there a long time, Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked at a window, and saw, and behold, Isaac was caressing Rebecca, his wife. Abimelech called Isaac and said, Behold, surely she is your wife. Why did you say she is my sister? That's etc. Because I said, least I die because of her. Abimelech said, What is this you have done to us? One of the people might easily have lain with your wife, and you would have brought guilt on us. Abimelech commanded all the people, saying, He who touches this man or his wife will surely be put to death. Isaac sowed in that land, and reaped in the same year, one hundred times what he had planted. Yahweh blessed him. The man grew great, and grew more and more, until he became very great. He had possessions of flocks, possessions of herds, and a great household. The Philistines envied him. Now all the wells which his father's servants had dug in the days of Abraham his father, the Philistines had stopped and filled with earth. Abimelech said to Isaac, Go from us, for you are much mightier than we. Isaac departed from there, a camped in the valley of Geher, and lived there. Isaac dug again the wells of water, which they had dug in the days of Abraham his father, for the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham. He called their names after the names by which his father had called them. Isaac's servants stood in the valley, and found there a well of springing water. The herdsmen of Gerar argued with Isaac's herdsmen, saying, The water is ours. He called the name of the well Isaac, because they contended with him. They dug another well, and they argued over that. Also, he called its name Sitna. He left that place and dug another well, they didn't argue over that one. He called it Rehoboth. He said, For now Yahweh has made room for us, and we will be fruitful in the land. He went up from there to Beersheba. Yahweh appeared to him the same night and said, I am the God of Abraham, your father. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. I will bless you and multiply your offspring for my servant Abraham's sake. He built an altar there and called on Yahweh's name and pitched his tent there. There, Isaac's servants dug a well. 
Then Abimelech went to him from Gehar, Nehuzaf, his friend, and Phico, the captain of his army. Six so said to them, Why have you come to me, since you hate me, and have sent me away from you? They said, We saw plainly that Yahweh was with you. He said, Let there now be an oath between us, in between us and you. Let us make a covenant with you, that you will do us no harm, as we have not touched you, and as we have done nothing to you but good, and have sent you away in peace. You are now blessed of Yahweh. He made them a feast, and they ate and drank. They rose up some time in the morning, and swore to one another. Isaac sent them away, and they departed from him in peace. The same day Isaac's servants came, and told them concerning the well which they had dug, and said to him, We have found water. He called it Sheba. Therefore the name of the city is Beersheba to this day. When Esau was forty years old, he took his wife Judith, the daughter of Beri, the Etite, and Basmeth, the daughter of Elon, the Etite. They grieved Isaac's and Rebekah's spirits. Thank you.